Yeah, no, I mean, all the guys know what tonight means. I mean, not only John Tavares night, Rochester, you know, a big game, division game, so they're ready to go. And like you said, it's it's a lot of, you know, whoop de whoop <laughs> and all that stuff, but I think the guys are going to focus and not worry about what, you know, yeah, 11 is getting its number put up there and all that, but... You know, there's a bigger thing on the floor, and believe me, John Tavares would be the first one to say, don't worry about all that other stuff. We need a win tonight. So that's our focus, and you know, we'll go from there. Do you worry a little bit about having too much of an emotional reaction at the start of the game and coming out strong and leaving everything beforehand? Is it going to be important just to learn to control your emotions in this situation? Yeah, for sure, a little bit. Like you said, I know all the guys – Respect John, like John. I mean, he's been a coach, you know, here, and he's, you know, he's been great at that too. So, all the guys are definitely want to get number eleven a win tonight. But at the same time, you know, you, it's it's a division game. Rochester, focus on that and play as hard as you can. Stick to the game plan. Let the ships fall where they may. So, that's our focus right now. So you have about 20,000 memories of John and uh, his career, playing yeah. with him for 18 years plus summers. Oh, I, I, I have too many. So it's it's not even, you know, I've been asked a, a ton of times, and there is no way that anyone can understand how good he was on the floor, off the floor. He never let that he was the greatest of all time affect his game. He just showed up every night, you know, and, you know, I, I, I hate to say it, I think about it. If I was him, there were, might have been some nights I might have taken a night off, this, that, whatever. He never did. And that, that's what made him the greatest of all time. So, you know, like you said, I, I played with him for 18 years for the Bandits, uh, probably another 10 in the summer, so 28 probably seasons, who knows how many games. I, I, and again, I've said this to a lot of people, I had a front row seat to the greatest player in the history of lacrosse. There, there's no getting around it. I respect him to the, to the hilt, and he's the greatest man. There's no getting around it. You're one of only two people that know what John's going to be feeling tonight because you've had your number retired. What's uh, that like? It's incredible, like you said, and I'm sure John said it. I said it when I uh, got my number put up there. We didn't play for that. We played because we love the game. We love being a Buffalo Bandit, and we went out and played as hard as we could because that was our job. So, you know, like you said, I, I've been there. It's it's really emotional, to be honest. I, I thought, you know, eh, I'll just go out there and give my little speech and be done with it but you, you get out there and it's like oh my god it's been 18 years of my life and for John 24 years so you know you, you really can't put it into words but at the same time I have a feeling what he's going to be feeling and it's it's you know it's it really is just the end of a great ride so he deserves it and like I said he's the GOAT greatest of all time Knowing John what to do, is he nervous at all today? No, that guy don't get nervous. He hasn't been nervous a day in his life. He just goes out and does what he does. He's a hard worker. And again, a great teammate. I mean, like, people don't understand what a great teammate he was. We had a lot of good wins, a lot of big, you know, we won man cups, uh, NLL championships, everything. And he never changed one little bit. That that guy is the same he was at 21 now that he is at 47. And that's a real tribute to not change. I mean, like you said, it's it's hard. I, I think it would be hard being the greatest of all time and not changing. But he hasn't. And that's what makes him John Tavares. Aren't you been pretty happy about the way the team's played the last two weeks with the wins? Seems like you bounced back after that little blip. Yeah, and, and yeah, and you know what? We we got a little full of ourselves. You know, 
up getting a four and two, and then we let two slide down the uh, drain. Had a fourth quarter lead going into both games, and we kind of let them slip away. So I think the team really now is focused on what has to be done. They know that if you don't show up and play for 60 minutes, you know, we, we had a couple, a lot of good 45 minute games. And if we play for 60, we're, we're a tough team to beat. I saw where Billy D isn't suspended from last week. Does Priolo have any issues from the, the fights last uh, week? Or? No, I, you know, he, he did what he had to do. Uh, someone challenged him. He, you know, took care of, took care of business. And then there was, you know, Thornburg got run from behind into the boards. And he, that, you know, he's an assistant captain. He was a leader and did what he had to do. So, But there's no leak. I, problems I, as far as I know, no. And if there is, we're going to appeal and he'll play tonight for sure. So, I, you know, I, I, we're coming into our own. The team is really starting to be a team, and pre doing that really solidified what we're about. You don't, you know, you don't touch one of us. You touch all, all of us. So that's our, you know, our mojo, and that's what we're doing from here on. You're healthy. Yeah, good to go. I mean, uh, everyone seems good to go, and we're going to throw our best 16 out there and see what happens. Okay. <laughs> yeah.